module uh, from on your Silver Script CMS, Silver Stripe CMS. Uh, to get the module, you need to go on to silverstripe.org and uh, you'll come to a page like this one modules uh, you have all different of mod for demonstration purposes I'm going to install a user form module that uh, is used to create forms on your website or a page with your forms on there so this is the one that I would use for demonstration uh, you can visit the forum if you want to uh, you can download it from here once you have downloaded it onto the uh, onto your computer and then you need to upload it onto the server that I showed you how to upload on the previous video uh, I'm not going to go into that uh, once it's downloaded and uploaded on the server you need to log into your cPanel and go on to your file manager I have my one installed in a folder uh, because I have my main website on my domain name uh, it depends on how you have installed it if you installed it on your root then you would have won't have the folder it would be in the root open the folder and this is the website folders that came with the website uh, this is the one that I just uploaded the user forms so click on it and then extract content it will extract the contents onto the folder uh, once it's extracted you can close this one and uh, refresh go back on silver stripe and there it is this is the one that uh, will create the all the code and everything for your user form uh, we need to change this name because uh, by default all you need is a name the, anything after that has to be taken out so we need to rename that to exactly what it says on the front user F O R M S and rename now once you have it renamed and everything then uh, we need to go on to our silver stripe admin so log into your admin panel and you'll come to the panel like this one now we got to build a database sorry uh, to do that uh, to build a database you need to type in your address bar your domain name and I have it on my silver stripe so it would be silver stripe dash then DB for database then build B U I L D slash question mark flush equals to one when you do that and you are already logged into your admin you have to log into admin to do that uh, if you're not logged in admin you would not you won't be able to create a database so 